Now, 17-year-old Alex McKechnie is a whiz at playing the video game Fortnite. In fact, he's so good he's making thousands of dollars playing competitively. Now, his dad has let him quit school to do it professionally. Some days he makes more than I do. So are you hoping to become a millionaire? Hopefully. Every day, 17-year-old Alex McKechnie goes to work. He doesn't have to leave home. In fact, he doesn't have to leave his bedroom to do it. Oh, my God! I get dizzy just watching. <laughs> Obviously, you have won a lot of money at this. Any idea how much you've got in the bank? Oh, around 45000 yeah. Not bad for someone your age? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Some days we, we compare how much we've all made on the day and, yeah, he sometimes he wins. <laughs> so. Alex's dad, Matt, is a podiatrist who made the decision to pull Alex out of school so Alex could become a professional online gamer. We didn't think we'd ever be doing that for any child. You know, you, when you send them off to education, you think, yeah, you're 12, that's it. There's no compromise. Was it your idea to do this professionally, to leave school and try this? Yeah, definitely. It's something I've always wanted to do. Were you surprised when your parents said yes? Yeah, it took a little bit of convincing, but they, they saw I had potential. We know that with gaming that there's a limited lifespan in particular games. You can't just say, go back in two years and, and start doing it professionally, because the game could be finished. Alex plays the biggest game in the world right now, Fortnite. It's like the Hunger Games in a hostile environment where you have to defeat all the other players to be the winner. At the moment, he's 77 in the world, and that's pretty remarkable when there's 350 million players worldwide. You must be proud of him. Yeah, we are proud of him, but we're proud of him because uh, he's, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't just do it for money, he does it because he wants to be the best. To be the best at this game requires a great deal of skill, but trust me, if you are the best, you stand to make a lot of money. Last year, Epic, the makers of Fortnite, put up $100 million in prize money. There's even a World Cup of Fortnite, and the winner of that took home $3 million. You can definitely earn a healthy wage, but you have to be the best. The best earn millions, the rest earn very little. Dr Stephen Conway is course director for games and interactivity at Swinburne University. There is absolutely a skill to this and the actions per minute that these highly skilled esports athletes perform is roughly the best can do 200 roughly actions per minute and that is fine motor skill movements per minute. And what do you think makes you good at it? The amount of time I put in hand-eye coordination, yeah. So simply it's the practice, it's yeah. the hours you put in. How many hours a day do you think you play? Oh, on average, about six, six to eight. We were actually very strict. Um, Alex is one of six kids, and we had this blanket rule that there was no screen time on school nights. But Matt says Alex did grow up watching his older brothers playing video games, and he quickly became good at it. He also played a lot of AFL, which helped his hand-to-eye coordination. Naturally, the competitive gamer is an under 25-year-old. I mean, the Alex is probably the average age, 16, 17, is the age where they're probably at their peak. With esports exploding globally, schools like this one on Brisbane's south side are starting to take online gaming seriously. Here, students can take it as an extracurricular activity. It's like any other sport. They even compete against other schools and stream the tournaments live on the internet. So do you think we'll see more parents starting to look on this as a career opportunity? Well, I hope so. I mean, there's a, a lot more tournaments and a lot more opportunities opening up for these students. Mark Mendez-Cortez coordinates the program. And so we've got students who really enjoy competitively playing online that aren't physically able to compete in conventional sports. It's not just about playing games. Um, we incorporate playing, doing gym, uh, doing exercises such as Zumba as well, and having a mindset training to get into the, the right focus. And don't think gaming is just for young men like John here. Playing in this tournament, we found Casey. Could you see yourself doing this professionally? Um, it, it, it is an option that I could see, yeah. Especially because female players are so much rarer 
in the competitive leagues themselves. It was very much dominated by um, by men in the early days, but that's changed a lot. More women are interested in playing them, um, women are playing competitively. It's really, really exciting. Stephanie Bendixson is a video game critic and content creator. She says not only are more women playing, but success stories like Alex's are becoming more common. If they were doing well enough to be able to compete on a world stage, then I wouldn't discourage it because they could have a really successful career doing that. We had a deal that we give him the whole year off, but he'd do some sort of education next year unless he went crazily big, big time. Matt has also taken on a second job as Alex's manager and has plans to move Alex overseas when they can, where the prize pool is much larger. I'm competing in the tournaments, which has got far greater opportunities, greater prize pools, getting to play with the, the world's best rather than just Australia's best. And if Alex says one day, Dad, I don't want to do this anymore, will you be happy to let him walk away? I'd probably be more upset than him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got a tournament soon, today. Yeah. Do you get nervous about playing? No. Comes pretty easy for me. In fact, Alex's parents, Matt and Rebecca, confessed to getting more nervous for Alex than he does. Recently, Alex paired with AFL player James Cousins from Hawthorne to play in a charity contest. They won, and Alex donated his $25,000 winnings to the Gold Coast Hospital, which was at the forefront of battling COVID. That win took his earnings to $70,000 for the year. You planning to spend it or are you going to hang on to it? Uh, I'd like to save it for investment property next year. It's wild that they're earning this much money so young and all I can say is I hope they're investing it well because like I said, the, the career span is very short so you need to make as much money as you can now and then I guess try and move on to something else afterwards and, and maybe live off brand sponsorship after that. Alex streams his tournaments on the social media platform Twitch where he has 22,000 followers which also brings in sponsorship dollars. So there's a huge uh, array of avenues for, you know, professional career options for gamers when they're doing really well. I would say it's a very rare scenario for the parents to back someone in this way, but it really principally is similar to someone backing their child to be an NBA star, an AFL star, a soccer star. And what would you say to those people who say, this is wrong, you shouldn't be leaving school to become a gamer? I think it's something I need to open their eyes to because it's a new industry. It's changing his life, changing his life already in a positive way. So we're happy, family's happy.